am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I am a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold of past trauma, heartbreak, and suffering so that you can live and enjoy the life and business of your dreams. There is so much going on. And if there ever was a time to meditate, it is now. Meditation soothes the spirit, calms the mind, lowers blood pressure, raises dopamine levels, it boosts the immune system, it does so many wonderful things. And above all, <laughs> the greatest thing that it does for us is it connects us to our high self and our divinity. It, when we're in a state of meditation, our, our pulse slows down, our heart rate drops, our blood pressure is reduced. We feel the anxiety melting away. We're connecting with our high self and what happens is not only is our self-esteem strengthened, but, and all those other things I mentioned, you know, boosts our immune system but we tap into divine intelligence. There is so many things out there happening in the world. Lies, I tell you, lies, lies, lies. And we need to be connected to our divinity, to our high self to be able to unravel what's true, what isn't true. Who's lying to me? Who isn't? And so meditation for so many reasons is something that we all need to be doing on a regular basis. And, and so I'm going to walk you through a couple of different ways to meditate. And, and I'm just gonna say, because this is really important, I, I cannot tell you how many times I have said to a client, you need to meditate. And they've told me, I can't meditate. My mind is too active. It's, it's too noisy in there. It's too crazy in there. And, you know, I came from a place where I had anxiety. You know, I was high anxiety. And so I know what it was like when I attempted to meditate, but I didn't know all the different tricks. And there are many different tricks that we can do to quiet the mind so that we can meditate. But the number one thing is you don't have to worry about making the mind stop. That's the problem is that people go, oh, you know, I have to make my mind quiet. Stop. You know, it's like, don't look at a pink elephant or don't, don't think about a pink elephant or <laughs> don't, don't worry about getting COVID. And, and then that's the, the whole thing. You're, that's, your focus is worry, worry, worry about getting COVID. So what we want to do is let the mind do what the mind wants to do. And the, when we, have you ever noticed when we stop fighting, things become so much easier. So, th so that's what I'm going to give you, a couple of tools so that you can stop fighting and start enjoying instead. So the first one is look up at the ceiling with your eyeballs eyeballs only do not don't you don't want to do this that's not what i'm talking about you keep your chin parallel to the ground just like it is right now and just turn your eyeballs up to the ceiling and what does this do for you well <laughs> it really stretches your eyeballs <laughs> it really pulls on the muscles of the eyes which you know to be honest we don't exercise our eyes quite enough. We really need to be moving our eyeballs in ways that we don't normally so that they are exercised just like everything else. We need to exercise our eyes. So the eyes are up towards the ceiling and now what does this do for you? It quiets the mind. I bet you're finding that your mind is not racing. It's not, what are we gonna have tomorrow? Is it gonna snow? Um, do I need to get snow tires in my car? <laughs> Do I need to bring the plants in if it's going to be cold? Um, it, it quiets all of that. And so then with the eyeballs still turned up, hopefully you're still doing this instead of looking at me, eyeballs at the ceiling, 
and then gently close your eyelids with the eyeballs turned up. And it's a little bit of a challenge to do that, to keep your eyeballs turned up, but you can do it. The monks do it. It's a trick of the monks. Okay, so that's one. Another one is to envision a laser coming through the back of, of your head here, all the way through the third eye and shooting out your forehead. So just envision a laser going through the brain and shooting, and that will help you quiet the mind. I've also done that with a two, envision a two by four coming through the back of your head, coming out your forehead if the laser doesn't, doesn't appeal to you. So those are some tricks to help you quiet the mind. And then the other thing that we can do is breathe. And so I want you to just start with me with a count to four, inhaling count to four. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Now, if you can breathe more slowly and longer, you can build up to six or seven or eight or even 11 inhaling and 11 exhaling. But you want your inhalation and exhalation to be even and sit upright. You don't have to sit on the floor. If I had to sit on the floor to meditate for an hour, <laughs> I'd be really fidgety. I'd be, you wanna be comfortable sitting upright, your shoulders back, your neck locked, and you can use this mudra. So what does this do? This helps to quiet the mind also. And just rest your hands on your lap. And I'm gonna give you a couple of mantras because I find using a mantra helps you to not focus so much on what's going on here. And the mantra gives the mind something to do. So there's, there's seed mantras, Bijans they're called. There's all kinds of different mantras you could use. Om is a mantra. Um, you could also do I love me or I am loved, but I'm going to give you a different mantra than that. And it is, I am the light of the divine inside me. I am the light of the divine inside me. So sitting up right with your hands in the mudra, eyes up to the ceiling and then closing your eyelids gently. I am the light of the divine inside me. Breathing in. Exhaling. I am the light of the divine inside me. Now you could do this out loud or you could do it silently. I suggest that you try this mantra for 10 or 15 minutes out loud. And then the next time you go to meditate, try it in the background of your mind. Now you could do that mantra first, and then the second mantra could be, I love me. So I do have a meditation video on several, actually on YouTube, you can check them out. There's one called the Divine Presence Process Meditation. That one was a meditation that Bill Lassiter gave me some years ago and it's a beautiful meditation that you could do remotely with a friend that's what we did for years when we <laughs> we've done this for years but in 2011 when we awakened we were meditating with the divine presence process meditation it's a very powerful meditation all right so so that's all one type of meditation but there's another type of meditation where you could sit and and hold a journal in your hand or on your lap and with a pen and you close your eyes and you connect in and you just do the, the breathing, inhaling for four, exhaling for four, inhaling for four, exhaling for four, and do that for about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. And that will help you to kind of get into the idea of meditation. It will just kind of get you solidified, feeling comfortable. And, and that's the key here is don't have judgment, don't beat yourself up and 
don't worry about what's going on. Am I doing it right? <laughs> I posted a meme yesterday about yoga, that the worrier pose. <laughs> don't worry about whether you're doing it right. Um, just watch, watch this video again and then just have at it and, and play with it. You know, nobody's going to, um, <laughs> nobody's going to grade your meditation. The, the quality of the meditation is yours. It is for you. So, you know, I, I have stopped when I meditate. If I have an itchy nose, I will not itch it. I will leave it be and, and know that it's my body that is just trying to get my attention going in a different direction. And, but you want to focus uh, inward. So here's the other thing. You can focus your attention on the third eye, the middle of your forehead. So when your eyes are closed, your, your eyes are turned up looking at the third eye. That's the focus. So that's, that is another way to do the, the meditation. There's a lot of different things that you can do that change the effects and outcome of your meditation. Now you don't have to focus on the third eye. Uh, you can. You can smile a little to your heart while your eyes are closed and that is, is nice. It feels good. And then you could do the, the mental escalator. Take the escalator from here down to your heart and start your meditation from the place of your heart chakra. And that will shift your meditation. And if you've, you've ever been at a swimming pool and you've stood at the deep end and you've just fallen back into the water, that's what we want to do from the heart chakra, where you bring your consciousness to the heart chakra and envision yourself ah, just sinking in to your heart, falling inward to your heart. And that, my friends, is a beautiful thing because when you go from the heart and you're meditating from inside of you as opposed to here, the expansiveness is amazing. When you're inside of yourself, you think that there would be edges and borders. It's infinite. Inside you is infinite. It is an amazing experience. I, I would love to hear how this works for you, but I will tell you, taking the, the mental escalator away from the distractions of the noise outside, taking that escalator from your mind down into your heart and allowing yourself from this place standing here with your consciousness there and falling back into your heart. It's a beautiful place to meditate from. All right, so I hope this helped you. Uh, I know this is a different time for a video for me, but I felt really compelled to get this out because so many people are having issues with anger and emotions. And I will tell you that meditation can help you to shift emotions. And tomorrow, uh, I'm going to do a, a, a video tomorrow about releasing negative emotions and how to do it. So I hope you'll tune in tomorrow. Sending a big hug. We're going to have snow here tomorrow in Colorado. I've got to go wrap up my plants and bring them all inside. It is crazy times right now. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah! Have a great night and make sure that you meditate. Start with 10 minutes, but do it every day. And if you could do it twice a day, even better. I'm going to go do so right now. I love you. Thanks for watching.